Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. A God whose love for us knows no bounds. A God who has a plan and a purpose for our lives. A God who deserves all of our praise. And we praise God for all that he does. Our word of encouragement comes from Titus chapter 3, beginning at verse 4. But when the kindness and love of God, our Savior, appeared, he saved us. Not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs, having the hope of eternal life. You know, as I read these words, I'm just reminded that uh, really this is all God's plan. Really, this is God's way of restoring us. And we're reminded in these words to Titus that it's not because of something we've done that God did this. God isn't rewarding us or God isn't paying us as, as like a wage, like we earn something. It's because of God's love for us that all this took place. It's because God cares about us first, uh, that Jesus came. It's because God wanted to restore his people to himself after we had failed. So God's love is not about some kind of payment or some kind of thing we deserve. God's love is all about his mercy and his grace. Um, and our love should be the same. And speaking with people and just talking with people and, uh, you know, just sharing with people, uh, you know, what our world really needs today is more of God's love. Uh, of course, they don't know it. And, of course, the devil wants to fight against that in every facet of life. But what, what, how could the world be different if we simply loved one another? If we love people uh, based on the, not what they do, but the fact that they're part of God's creation. How would we see people differently? How would we see the person on the street corner differently? How would we see um, the person in the hospital or in prison or in wherever they may be differently? How might we see the person uh, in the store that we go to, the, the, the worker or um, you know the banker or the accountant or whatever it is that we have to go to? How could we see them differently if we chose to have a love that's truly like Christ and chose to love them uh, not because of what they do, but because that they're a child of God? Uh, today, I just want to encourage you, whatever you have going on, I know some of you are working, of course, some are retired, um, and, and maybe you're not working, but you have other things going on. But I want to challenge you and encourage you today to try to look at all people as God's creation, and let's love them accordingly. Let's not love them because of what they do or don't do. Let's love them because they are part of our brothers and sisters in this world. And let's make a difference. Now, I know in, in the scheme of things, we talk about like voting and, hey, I want to, you know, I'm going to vote for the President of the United States every four years and it almost seems like hey that's what a waste you know i mean out of however many uh you know billion people there are in the world and how many live in, in the united states and how many are voting my one vote doesn't matter but you know what it does matter uh, and i say that to say that it matters that we try to love one other person i know we live this great big country and a great big state if you will with lots of people and a great big area even in our communities um, but we can love one other person, and then we can love another person. And maybe that love spreads from us into their lives. Um, and, and, and so on and so forth until God's love permeates our world. We're not going to fix our world today, folks, by telling people they're wrong or they're bad or, or whatever. We're going to fix it by loving them into the kingdom. That's how God chose to seek us out, was to love us. That's how God uh, chose to, to, to put his arms around us. It was not to say, hey, you know, you've been bad, go fix yourself. God said, no. I'm going to send my son. He's going to come. He's going to grow up. He's going to become a man and uh, start teaching and preaching and sharing. And then he's going to die on the cross for you, you who are a sinner. Uh, and we all are. Um, that was God's love. God's love showed us uh, his love by loving us right where we're at. If we want to help that, we want to further his cause, we've got to love people right where they're at. Uh, we may not love what they do. And I'm not saying we should accept uh, all the evil that's out there as okay, because it's not. Um, but we can love people for who they are uh, and love them through whatever they're going through. And that, my friends, uh, will make a difference for the kingdom. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this reminder that, uh, that Jesus died on the cross not because we've done something to earn it, but because of your love for us. Father, help us to see people today and love them as you have loved us, even in the midst of their turmoil or grief or the bad things they're doing. Father, help us to know how to best love them, help us to know how to reach out and, and make a difference in their lives. Uh, again, not because of what, who we are, but because of who you are in us. May your love and your grace freely flow into us and through us into the lives of others that you would receive the glory. Father, we just want to serve you in so many ways. And as we think of the ending of 2022 and the beginning of 2023, help us, Lord, to make a difference in the coming year. Help us, Lord, to see your kingdom grow. Help us, Lord, to, to be able to be a part of all that you have planned 
and they would see a mighty revival in this great nation. Father, we just give you all the praise today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. Hey, we love you as well. Uh, we want you to be encouraged to know that, that we're here for you uh, and we are here to support you. I hope that whatever you do today, again, you go out with the idea that you want to love one another. Have a great day. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.